Hello everyone. Welcome to the Google Cloud Platform Tutorials. And in this video, we are going to look about orchestrating the cloud with Kubernetes Lab. And this video is brought to you by ZDEP Technologies and Services. First of all, we will log in into our Big Labs account in an incognito window. And we are going to start the lab by clicking on this. Open the Google console with the event credentials. The first step that we are going to do is activating our cloud shell. For that we are going to accept this and move forward. And this is the first command that we are going to execute, which is the cloud auth list. This is our cloud shell, and we are going to activate it by clicking on this icon click on continue We need to authorize it before we execute a command and now the next command that we are going to use is for the project ID next step is we need to set our zone and here the zone is specified as US Central 1B and we are going to use that. And now we are going to set up a cluster. And for creating this cluster, it just takes some time and we need to wait for it to complete.
and you could see a cluster has been created here it just takes some time and we need to wait for it and the next step is getting the sample code with the use of this command and you could able to see even this dot also matters here in this particular command The next thing that we are going to do is changing the directory that is actually needed for this lab and this command ls it is used to list all the files that were there wait for this process to complete and only then we could able to move ahead the operation has been completed we are going to change the directory and it has been changed these are all the files that were there and the next thing is we are going to deploy and in order to run a pod we need to execute this command and we got the status as running and the next step that we are going to do is this that is to expose this cubicle and now in order to get some external ip and internal ip we are going to execute this cubicle get services and we need to execute this command until we get the external ip here instead of pending we will be getting an external ip and that we are going to use and you could see we got an external ip here and that we are going to use it and now we need to take another tab Here, the external IP needs to be replaced with whatever that we have got earlier.
and we got a configuration file here and we'll check whether our task has been completed or not and moving to the next step this is about pods where we are going to create pods using these commands And we got the same output, the configuration file. And we are going to create a monolith pod using this cubectal. Monolith pod has been created. And the next thing is we need to interact interact with the pods that we have created so we need to open an other terminal And this is the command that we need to execute in the second terminal that we have opened right now. And coming back to the first terminal. We got a message hello here with the use of this command. And we need to secure this. So in order to secure, we are going to execute this command. Try this once more so that it gets connected. So before we continue, we need to log in into our account once. With the use of this, I mean to log in back into our monolith, we need to execute this. And the password that we are going to use is this. and use this command after logging in.
and if it asks for a password we are going to use this again And after this, in order to secure the endpoint, execute this command. And to view the monolith pods that were created, we are going to execute this. And the next step that we are going to do is opening a third terminal. Click on this and open another terminal. and execute the command that was given to us which is minus f and when we try to execute this command in the first terminal the logs will be updated in the third terminal and that we are going to check it over here And the same thing that we are going to do in the first terminal itself. And we are going to execute this ping command in the first terminal here. And in order to exit from this, give the command as exit. And the next thing is about services. And to create a service, we are going to execute this by changing the directory. And to explore the parts that were there, we give the command at And you could see a cluster has been created and a monolith pod has been created and a secure thing is also done here. As we have created earlier, we are going to ex explore those with the help of this command. And we are going to get a YAML editor here. And to create a cubectal, we use this command.
and here the monolith service has been created let's check whether the task has been completed or not and yes it is completed and we are going to give this firewall rules to this so execute this and move ahead and the firewall is being created here and we will see whether is it completed or not And the next thing is to get this external IP address here with the help of this command. And you could able to see we got some external IPs here. And we got some external IP addresses here and we are going ahead by adding some labels to these parts with the help of these commands. And to enable that, we give this command. And you could see the pods has been labeled. And we got some endpoints here. We got our external IP addresses here and we'll check whether the task has been completed or not. As we could see, we already created. We have given the labels here to the pods. And so the task has been completed up till here. The next thing is deploying applications with Kubernetes. That we are going to do with, uh, first of all, by creating some deployments with the help of this command we got a configuration file here and we and we are moving ahead by creating the deployment in the first step the deployment has been done and then in the next step we are going to create the services And this is for creating the hello deployment and hello services.
and this is for creating and exposing the front end deployment and here you could able to see front end deployment has been created and front end service is also created then we'll check whether these things has been completed or not and you could see we have completed all the tasks that were allotted to us in the first step we have created a kubernetes cluster and monolith pods and services and along with that we have worked on all these creating deployments and adding labels to these pods so this is all about orchestrating the cloud with kubernetes and thank you for watching